Oh, buddy, you know me. When I'm on the road, I love to chef it up. No need to eat poorly. That's my motto. So in 2021, what were some of the best meals I had? Well, let's find out together. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hey everybody, David aka RV Jedi and 2021 has been a stellar season for RVing. Had a chance to go to a lot of different places and every time I go, you know I love to chef it up. Ah, oh, you know my motto, no need to eat poorly when you're on the road and this year we definitely did not eat poorly. So something new we're gonna do here on the channel for the very first time, I'm gonna take you through the top five meals I cooked on the road Maybe you'll try some of them this year or next. Here we go. Oh boy, I'm hungry right now. Number five, French toast for breakfast. Now, I do a lot of different meals when I'm on the road and sometimes I'll do full breakdowns. This one, I didn't do a full breakdown, but I thought I should share it anyway. Uh, I did some French toast on the road. I love French toast, waffles, pancakes, but this was uh, something that I hadn't done in a long time and I just wanted to share it. You know, you have to have a good breakfast to fuel up for all of your hiking and all of the things you're going to do in the day. And you know, I love to have some good coffee with me. Uh, I use my French press, which I absolutely love. Uh, it just gives me some really good flavor with my coffee. And then here, take a look. You got French toast, coffee, juice water, uh, you got eggs, baking, the perfect meal for the road. This is why it's my number five favorite meal, RVing in 2021. Number four, roast beef with chimichurri sauce and homemade cracked fries. So this is the first time I had a chance to use my new grill. Uh, and it's a feeling out process. It takes a while before you get real comfortable with it. Here are some of the seasonings that I have for uh, the uh, gourmet fries, the chimichurri uh, sauce, which I made with this, and then of course the roast. Uh, and then here is the char griller. Again, learning this grill takes time. I'm gonna have to do it multiple times before I get real comfortable with it. But I think for this one, the roast turned out excellent. And there is the finished product, the chimichurri sauce. Uh, got some Brussels sprouts and some gourmet fries. And there you have it. We have roast with a chimichurri sauce, uh, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, and bacon, uh, and gourmet fries with a gourmet dipping sauce. Uh, that's some ketchup, a little red hot, uh, and some sour cream on there. Let's taste all of this up. Fries are great. Love Brussels sprouts. And the steak. Mm. Fantastic. You know, it's been a while since I've been able to chef it up here in the RV and it feels great to be able to do this. Number three, gnocchi hash with eggs sunny side up. 
This turned out to be a perfect meal to have on a rainy morning. Uh, I used some sausage, some chorizo, some vegetables, um, got it all cooked up really nicely there, threw in some gnocchi as kind of my potato mixture, uh, and then finished it off with some sunny side up eggs. Number three on the list for the best meals in 2021. Voila! There you have it. It is the egg and chorizo slash sausage gravy. Mm. It looks really good. Let's try it. You know, the gnocchi hash is perfect. You know, all gnocchi is really is potatoes. So uh, you're substituting potatoes uh, in your hash with gnocchi and it tastes great. Number two. Pork ribs, two ways. Now ribs are a commitment. You have to really be ready for this. Uh, it starts with your dry rub. I used my own dry rub, got it on the night before, really wanted to stick to those ribs. Uh, and then again, utilizing my new grill. This is the first time I grilled ribs on the new grill and it actually turned out pretty well. Uh, I did the ribs two ways, dry rub, and uh, I also wrapped them both times um, and then added some sauce to one of them. But you could see as I was wrapping here, the ribs were almost ready. Um, they were so tender and so delicious. Just finished them back off on the grill uh, to uh, get uh, some more cooking in to make sure that they were all ready. But this was my number two meal this year RVing and it was ab fab. There you have it, baby back ribs on my new grill for the very first time. I've got some beans here, uh, a salad with some Ken's uh, buttermilk ranch, uh, and then uh, Bell's tropical Oberon uh, ale. It uh, has uh, wheat ale with a little mango, guava, and passion fruit in it. I think it'll go well with the ribs. First, let's try the dry rub. Mm. These ribs are perfect. Excellent. Let's try some beans in between. They are hot. I finish them off with a little bit of sour cream. All right. Let's take a bite out of the wet ribs. Mmm. equally delicious you know i still have to figure out how to use the grill but for the first time out these turned out really really well i'll put a link to how i do everything in the description below and then you can uh, make ribs like this all on your own and the number one meal this year on the road ribeye steak with bacon wrapped asparagus and grilled corn on the cob now, ironically, out of all of the meals that I made in 2021, this may be technically one of the easier meals to make. It really starts with great meat. Uh, and I love ribeye. It's my favorite cut of steak. I just used a little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic powder. Uh, got it onto the grill uh, along with the corn. Uh, and then a little bit later, the bacon-wrapped asparagus. Uh, it is a beautiful thing when you grill a good piece of meat. The real magic in this all is just selecting a great piece of meat. Your protein makes all of the cooking so much easier. And this is why this was my number one meal in 2021. Grilled ribeye, grilled corn, and grilled asparagus with bacon. Let's check it out. Steak is great. Mm. 
love grilled asparagus. And let's try this. Love grilled corn. There's a little sour cream on here and a little dry rub spices. Um, it tastes so good. And then of course, something to drink, some Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. You know, these are great meals you can do on the road. Anybody can do them and they're all so delicious. I'll put a link to all of the meals over on my blog at rvjedi.com uh, and then I'll put a link to how you get there in the description below. Whatever you do, make sure you eat well on the road because it's gonna make a whole lot of difference when you're out there RVing. Hey, that's gonna do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then of course you can follow me on the blog at rvjedi.com. Get out there, RV, chef it up. Eat well when you're out there because when you do, you enjoy your experience overall. We'll see you next time.